IUCN ROA is always present where there's a need, where there's some life to be improved. Another great achievement has been accomplished by IUCN ROA. A project on two remote areas in Jordan, Al Rampa that lies in the governorate of Urbid and Umal Qutain in the governorate of Al Mafraq. Al Rampa is a city situated in the far northwest of Jordan near the border with Syria. It's the 11th largest city in Jordan, and the second in Urbid governorate. As for Amal Qutain district, it's considered as one of the six poverty pockets of Al Mafraq governorate which shares around 300 kilometers with the Jordanian-Syrian border. <laughs> الزراعيه والمحافظه على المصادر المياه تاثيره تعليمي لانها فكره يعني جديده لابناء المنطقه كلها ولموظفي البلديه بكيفيه الزراعه المائيه Choosing these regions to execute this project aimed essentially to strengthen the livelihoods and food security of the host communities and Syrian refugees through the development of sustainable agricultural practices. يهدف هذا المشروع إلى تحسين كفاءة استعمالات المياه في الزراعة والهدف الثاني اللي هو تشغيل وتعليم المزارعين الأردنيين والمزارعين من اللاجئين السوريين في هذه المنطقة. إحنا هذا الموقع بضم ثمان بيوت بلاستيكية. ثمان بيوت سكين في عندنا أربع بيوت بلاستيكية بيوت الإنتاجية وفي عندي أربع بيوت بلاستيكية تعليمية. This project, funded by the Italian Agency for Development Cooperation (AICS), was aligned with IUCN mandate that aims to reduce pressure on natural resources by developing practical solutions that support improving living conditions of local citizens and Syrian refugees. المزارع الان يشتكي من فاتوره الكهرباء فاتوره الكهرباء عاليه ممكن تصل 8000 10000 12000 في الشهر طيب ايش الحل الحل تحويل من الطاقه الكهربائيه الى الطاقه الشمسيه لو كان تمويل بالاقساط المزارع راح يحول هذه الفاتوره الشهريه لتركيب الطاقه الشمسيه وبالاخير راح تكون ايش انتاج او مربح زياده لهذا المزارع It aimed to improve livelihood and strengthen resilience to climate vulnerability and socio-economic challenges of Syrian refugees and host communities in the municipality of Al Rampa in Urbid Governorate and Um Al Qutain in Al Mafraq Governorate. تسبنا إحنا خبرات كبيرة من خلال هذا المشروع تعرفنا على الزراعات الحديثة كيفية تسيير هاي الزراعات تعرفنا على كيف ممكن نحافظ على مصادر المياه نعيد تدوير هاي المصادر المياه. تعرفنا على انه ايش النباتات بتحتاج ومغذياتها التكنولوجيا الحديثه بعمليه الزراعه This project focuses on the adoption of natural resource based management increasing and diversifying water supply and enhancing its efficient utilization in agriculture in terms of farm productivity agriculture diversification and renewable energy application to reduce vulnerability of both Jordanian host communities and Syrian refugees. صار في تطور بايامنا هاي اللي هي الزراعه المائيه بنظام الهيدروبونيك واخذت دورات بالزراعه المائيه وتعلمتها الحمد لله ولاحظت انه الزراعه المائيه تفرق يعني 99% عن الزراعه التقليديه كتوفير للمياه، توفير بالاسمده، زياده الانتاج بالمحاصيل العلم اللي تعلمته هذا بالزراعة الحديثة حاب أعلمه لأولادي ولأحفادي وللمستقبل اللي بده يطلع جديد Strengthening the human and ecological resilience of agricultural systems to help improve the community's capacity to respond to potential environmental shocks and social stresses resulting from climate change Fruitful achievements are considered in Al Rampa and the Society of Urbid witnessed the tight collaboration between project members and the community such as Al Masa Cooperative and Youth Without Borders, where modern planting methods, seeding and irrigation were all accomplished using clean energy sources, high-tech equipment and advanced scientific methods, always taking into consideration energy and water conservation. Moreover, effective workshops have been held to coach and educate women in order to involve them in the active life, They're now part of the food production industry as well as in their community. هسا كان في اثر كثير واضح على السيدات انه تمكنوا من العمل، تمكنوا من الدمج كل الفئات العمريه يعني كان في دمج فبتشوفهم كلياتهم مبسوطين مع بعض وايد وحده يعني تعلموا انهم يكونوا يشتغلوا بروح الفريق، روح فريق واحد. Another marginalized region, Amal Qutain, where modern plantation 
and these modern greenhouses and plant nurseries are an established technology used by the modern world. And the locals from the community were trained to take part in the project with the collaboration of the Association for the Social Development and Jaffna Association. Another successful achievement of IUCN ROA through these two remote areas with the support and collaboration of the Italian Agency for Development Cooperation as well as the local community represented by municipalities. This amazing project reached Jordanian citizens as well as Syrian refugees with no discrimination, where one of IUCN ROA's main goal was to empower women to make them efficient citizens, and that throughout all ours projects. We insisted on conserving the environment and using clean energies. IUCN ROA is looking forward to achieving more success for the good of humanity by improving livelihood and strengthen resilience to climate vulnerability and socioeconomic challenges.